Good morning, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Friday, April 17, 2020, and you're looking at three of the recent skillet acquisitions that I made, and I've completely restored. And as you can see, they are all Griswold. They are interesting, each in their own respective way. But I want to show you, first before I show you the results on these, these are all ready to list and, and to, to sell. But before I, before I do that, I want to show you how I look for cast iron to buy online to give you guys just a peek in how I do it. All right, I will be back. Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker, I'm back here again showing you how I buy cast iron online. Because we're in a lockdown state, can't go out, can't uh, source anything, you can go to the grocery store, but you can't find vintage cast iron there. I'm going to show you how I went and looked for my Griswold 6 that I purchased recently. I like to buy them on auctions because I have a better chance of getting a good deal versus buy it now. If you're going to sell them, use a buy it now listing because you can actually get more money. It may take a little longer to sell, but you can get more money for them. As a buyer, though, I'm going to tell you what to look for and go from there. We're going to type in, in this case, I'm going to type in Griswold because that's what I purchased. And you can see when I type it in, a bunch of suggestions come up from a lot of other people's searches. So I'm going to click on this one, Griswold Cast Iron, large logo number six. There are 38 results, and we want to make sure they're used. Still 38 results. If you, This is all listings, so now we just, you know, all listings are here. Now if you don't want to, um, well... I like to go with auctions, so that's probably the best way to buy them. So we're going to click auction, and we're going to see what's available. That's an auction that's real cruddy, so if you're not looking to restore it, that wouldn't be a candidate. This one is a number three, but it showed up in the results because it's a six and a half inch skillet, and six was in the results from, you know, a Griswold number six. A Griswold number six actually is more like eight to nine inches depending on where you measure. A number three is about six to seven inches, depending on where you measure on that. We're not looking for a number three. That's a smaller skillet. We want a six. Um, it's slightly larger than a five, and it's slightly less common than a five, so they have a little bit more value to them, and there's a little bit more you can do with them than a number five. This one here is uh, an, an auction. It's got zero bids. It's already at four. They started at $27.95 is, is what that's telling me. There's one day left, eight hours, $21 in shipping. That's expensive shipping, guys. I ship my cast iron. I can usually ship it around anywhere between $10 to $15. I use a flat priority box, and depending on where it's going, it's going to cost a little bit more. But in number six, Griswold isn't all that heavy. Sh shouldn't be costing $21 to ship it, so that's a red flag right there. This one here is nickel-plated. Actually, to me, it, well, yeah, it looks nickel-plated. It could be chrome. It's hard to tell. They're not that popular. Some people like them. It is free shipping. But I there's some reasons why I wouldn't get this one. The feedback for one, 98.4, is not good. Um, I'm not sure how it would clean up. I've tried to, to do easy off and lie with these. But they're just, you don't deal with them the same way as you do with traditional cast iron. So from that alone, probably wouldn't recommend it unless you're familiar with this. I mean, if you're familiar, let's see if it's in good condition. It says used. They do not accept returns. And it says Griswold, number six. Large logo, 699H, that's fine. Condition is used. Clean, pretty clean, as is. They don't know much about cast iron from that description. There could be cracks that you don't see in the pictures. There could be spinning, there could be wobble. Uh, there could be a bunch of different things. We'll take a look at the pictures. And this is kind of what I look for in condition. It looks fairly flat, doesn't look bad. But again, it looks like it's got some nickel plating on both the inside and the outside. I, I have one that I think it's nickel plate. No, it's chrome plating, I think, because chrome is, uh, one is more bronze than the other, and I can't remember which, but I do have a number nine that I love, but it has nothing on the inside. It's just chrome plating on the outside walls and the bottom of the skillet. That's it. 
Um, but you don't know if it's a spinner or not. There's too many unknowns here. So from that standpoint, I would pass it up. And then you have, uh, let's see, this is a slant logo. Two days left, pre-owned, dead flat, nice. And it says something about a kettle. So it's a kettle. It's not exactly a number six. It's, it's The size is number six, but it's not a uh, just a... Um, that's what it, oh it's a different piece it's more like a kettle you can see here from the picture so no we don't want that if you want one they've got good feedback uh, nothing broken or cracked some pitting staining rust consistent with use I like the I like the description it's enough for me um, they do they do not accept returns but if if you're okay with the description and it comes that way there's really no need for a return if it comes any other way uh, and they didn't uh, describe it properly, then you can get them to pay for the return shipping. So not a concern. If you have any questions about that, you can email me at ladylibertystacker at gmail.com. Anyway, we're going to get out of that one. And we're going to take a look at, here's another one. They're starting it at 45, so already starting it high up. I don't know if it's restored or not. There's no bids. There's no bids on this one. That one we'll take a look at. This one I took a look at, and the pictures are dark. The description was minimal, and I didn't like that one. We'll take a look at this one. 100% feedback. They do not accept returns. The condition is used. We'll go down here. Condition says condition. Well, please refer to pictures for condition. Uh, on that alone, I wouldn't buy it. You click on the pictures. You really can't see what you're getting entirely. That's bad. It's a small logo Griswold. It's not a large logo. And not very many pictures. I put 12 pictures on my listings, guys. This is ridiculous. I wouldn't buy from them. Now, um, so this video wasn't too long. Uh, right now, there's not a whole lot there that interests me if I were going to buy a number six. But let's click on sold. Sold, there's 49 results. So 49, there were eight. So it's almost seven times the amount that have sold every 60 days and there are li active listings that means the sell through is high if you're a seller that's good news for you if you do get one of these and you have them in good condition they're easy to sell let's take a look mine should be in here that i purchased here it is bought it april 4th it got here two or three days later it's very quick um i paid 50.75 for it there were nine bids 12.25 shipping and because it's my account here, um, I won the auction. And let's take a look at the listing and why I bought it. Okay, number one, I can restore them. So for me, I didn't mind the crud and all that. They have 100% feedback. They do not accept returns, but that does, still doesn't bother me because if they mis misrepresent the skillet, I can return it and, and they'll pay me, they'll, they'll pay to ship it back. They'll probably tell me to keep it. It depends on the seller. Um, wasn't expensive to ship it back, but I doubt they'd want it back if it was damaged. Uh, this person has quite a bit of feedback, 1580 so they're experienced. They're probably going to be fine. Uh, Griswold number six came from an estate sale. There are no cracks, no breaks, no wobbles. That means, in other words, it's going to sit flat. And let's take a look at the pictures. Uh, pictures on this, um, flat or you know a little bit of a built up seasoning but the looks like it's fairly flat on the cooking surface and on the bottom and there it is a little bit of rust uh, it's flat here and actually a good skillet so I bought it and I'm very happy with it now I'm going to take you back to my uh, kitchen and I'm going to show you the results of this skillet the number seven that I bought and the number eight that I got and uh, we are going to finish it up there and we'll go from there i'll be right back okay guys i'm back in my kitchen here i hope you enjoyed that how i look for cast iron so let's go over all of these this one is my number eight small logo griswold made model number 704 has a grooved handle which these are very rare 
the number eights with the groove handle. They were made probably one of the last ones made just before Griswold was sold off to Wagner and all the production went to where Wagner was being produced in Sydney, Ohio. And shortly after that, I think it was 1959, they ceased to operate Wagner combined with Griswold. So this is one of the last skillets. Four uh, rounds of seasoning on it. Very smooth, extremely smooth. You can see that there. And this one will be sold online. So go ahead and turn that back over. That one's done. Next one is a large logo. Let's go ahead and bring it over in the light so you can see it better. Cast iron skillet number seven. This is one of the ones I picked up last week on auction. I had a bunch of crud built up here and just went back and forth from the light of vinegar several times. I needed a little bit more patience with this one. And with lye, you'd still have to, they would have to soak longer, um, or electrolysis, it would have to soak longer uh, with electrolysis than just a few hours when they're stubborn. But yeah, this one turned out just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And this is the inside of the pan. Very dry, very smooth. This has, I believe, three to four coats of seasoning, too. I almost lose track, but uh, get the oil off of that, get it off of my little thing there. So anyway, yeah, that's the number seven. And then this is a number six. This is the one you just saw, the one I bought on eBay, and this is it in restored condition. Cast iron skillet, six, large logo Griswold. And Erie PA, I will say Erie PA USA. This is 699B. So I'm thinking it's one of the earlier ones. These were produced from 1940 to 1957. 50, no, actually, no, these, these earlier large logos were 1930s to 1940, somewhere in there. Got to do a little bit more research on them because I haven't been so lucky to get them. But this one is also very smooth. They turned out very well, so I like the cruddy ones because I know how to restore them. But if you don't, you want to go on an auction and try to get one cheap, but you're not going to find that many as we saw on Buy It Now, um, or, or auction, I mean. On Buy It Now, you're going to find a lot more. They're going to be more expensive, but mind you, there's time involved. There's materials involved in getting these things and cleaning and a lot of labor intensive. And that's what you're paying for when you pay for these guys online and you're paying for the shipping and the whole nine yards. And I had to do the same thing to get these. I paid 63 a piece for these. So at any rate, this is what it is. Uh, if you like videos and content like this, give me a thumb up, leave a comment below. And uh, if you'd like to see some more cooking videos or other types of videos, let me know in the comments section. I'll do my best to make them. Anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching, and go make it a great day.